Hey everyone, I'm Andy from Our Dead Place, and today we are going to be starting our newest playthrough, and it's going to be Luigi's Mansion 3. Uh, this is a super, super cool game. Thank you everyone who watched the Trevor Rook series, and if you haven't already, go check that out. Um, if you just click on my channel, you'll see all the videos from episode 0 to episode 7. Uh, this is going to be episode 1 of Luigi's Mansion. Um, if you haven't played the game already, I have. It's a really, really cool game. Super fun. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into it. Looks like uh, it says some new features. We'll just click Don't Show Again. Story mode. Here we go. Uh, as you can see, the first playthrough took me 14 hours. So we'll see if this one is any better. Uh, let's start a new game. Awesome. So, uh, for all of you watching this, if you could leave a comment telling me what your favorite Luigi's Mansion is. Uh, I have only played Luigi's Mansion 3. Really, really cool game. Highly recommend it if you haven't played it already. Uh, and you're going to get to see it on here. So, but uh, I've heard that the original Luigi's Mansion is really good and the second one's pretty good as well. But, uh, I've heard from a lot of people that the third one was their favorite out of the three. So it looks like we're on a tour bus here. We got Toad and Toad. Oh, and Luigi. And... Polter Pop. <laughs> Our favorite best bud. Looks like we have an invitation. Amazing graphics on this game. Very, very cool. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Whoever's driving is not a great driver. Of course it's Toad. <laughs> Princess, Mario. We've got Toad carrying all the luggage. Oh, wow. That is a ton of luggage. Oh. Oh. Ah. There goes Toad, and finally, the man of the hour, Luigi. And pulled her pup to follow. Come on. Come on. Such a beautiful looking mansion, is it not? It looks so fun to stay in. So right off the bat introduces us to a character from this game. Oh yeah. There's quite a few of them. You see them. Uh, <laughs> so right here, the controls are pretty easy. Um, obviously, in the beginning, they're pretty straightforward. Definitely a normal looking person and not at all a ghost. <laughs> Ready to check in. And here we are, the last resort hotel. Helen Gravely, the hotel owner. That is so much hair. Holy cow. And she's got a pet in that hair. Let me to show you to your rooms. 
Oh no, need to worry about your luggage. Our exceptional staff, staff will take care of it for you. VIPs after all. We've prepared a first rate experience for you. All the traps of luxury. Shall we get going? The whole gang. she gave us. As we get going here, Mario, Luigi, and Peach's rooms are over here. We've prepared rooms for the Toads as well. I hope you enjoy your stay. I dare say you'll remember it for the rest of your lives. Ha ha ha. I like the little elevator music in the background. It's kind of, it's a nice touch. Bye. Night night. Night night. Oh, night night. <laughs> the attention to detail in this game is incredible. Really, really cool. So we could take a look around here. The game's pretty traditional in terms of like you can walk <laughs> and you can interact with things. So yeah. Wow. Yes, let's take a rest. What do we have in here, Luigi? Hmm. <laughs> nice. Throws it. That was great. Okay. Put the flashlight by our sides. And we've got a book, it looks like. Dusting off the old book, taking a read. Oh. <laughs> this is me too. I don't read very often, so when I read, I get super tired very easily. And as we're snoozing away, <clears throat> a plot is unfolding. His facial expressions are great. Hello? Uh huh? Uh huh? Hmm. All right, here's where we get into the game. Nice. The coins, I believe, do come in handy at one point or another. Nice little jump scare there. Scared me a little bit. All right, let's check out in the hallway here. Oh boy, our lovely mansion is fading away and turning into a more hollow mansion hollow or ghastly oh look at the mirror in the background that's amazing 
Really cool. Let's check to see if this door is open. It is, but no Mario in sight. <laughs> check in the closet here. Nothing there. Let's check over here in these drawers. Nothing. This drawer. A coin. See if there's anything in this. So it looks like the camera moves around the flashlight. Super cool. 501. This is Peach's room, I believe. Looks like it. Although, no Peach here. All the bathrooms are boarded up. Ah, interesting. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna make our way back out here into the main hallway and someone's coming up oh. Helen Gravely and as you can see she is a ghost well, well, well. If it isn't the most esteemed VIP, I was just on my way to see you. Is the room living up to your expectations? Doesn't it scream good taste? <laughs> the puns in here are pretty good, too. Oh, I can barely contain myself. You have no idea how much I wanted you to accept my invitation. Why is that? I'm sure you're wondering. Ha ha ha. You see, there is someone I truly adore. He's the inspiration for some of my greatest ideas like inviting you here. I'm such a huge fan of his. That's why it's so wonderful that I get to introduce him to you. That's right, Luigi. I hope you're ready. It's gotta be King Boo. Yeah, King Boo. It's me, King Boo. The old coot had me locked up tight in his lab. But guess what? I got out. The hotel owner here was just dying to meet me. So she busted me out. Pretty lucky, huh? Anyway, I didn't think you'd actually show up here. I was ready though, just in case. In fact, my vengeance is nearly complete. What do you mean vengeance? Glad you asked. I'm trapping you and everyone in your little vacation party in frames. Ah, there, there, Luigi. It'll be over soon. It's time for a family reunion. Yo. Oh boy. Take that. Oh, and there's one more frame, of course. I saved it especially for you. Oh, how nice. How generous of you. Stay right there and put your best terrified face on Luigi. This is game over. Oh, no. oh boy. Oh boy. Run, Luigi. Run faster, bro. I think I know what we need to do here. Gotta jump in the chute. Oh, no. 
<laughs> Luigi hyperventilating. Oh my gosh. And down the chute we go, and that is our introduction to Luigi's Mansion 3. Pretty great start. And that's more like it. Awesome. Super cool. So as you can see, it's a very, very tall mansion, and we are going to, um, as the story progresses, be able to make our way up to the very top. So it looks like Polter Pup actually followed us. We're down in the, looks like the laundry chute. Kind of cool. Get our way out of there, and it looks like the basement. Luigi, man, where's your flashlight? Oh, there it is, okay. Looks like we got some coins there. Rubber ducky and some bubbles. Diamond. I believe that's one of the collectibles we can get once we have our um, once we have our uh, suction item. Looks like we need to go in this next room. Polter pub digging in the trash. <laughs> Got those donuts. Nice. Okay, so it looks like there's a couple doors we can go in. Let's go in this door. Looks like a garage. I like that Luigi just like kind of runs into things. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can open this gate. Oh! Yeah, that's not good. That was our way out of here. Looks like some kind of wet water sign. And... Here we are, we make our way to a truck. Pulter Pup's pretty cute. <laughs> and there it is. I believe they call it the Poltergeist. Awesome. Nice, getting us used to the mechanics of it. Nice, that's how to push something away. Boom. Super cool. Really easy mechanics. Woof. Comfortable with what you've learned? Yes, I am. Thank you, Polterbup. quite the getaway. Now we could just suck anything and everything up in this poltergeist item. I really like doing that. <laughs> Let's 
see if there's anything over here. Suck those rats up. Awesome. Let's get a move on. That's another item we can get uh, later on. So, another collectible. Looks like there's nothing in here. Awesome, let's open this door up. Sweet. Save point, that's when you know something's doing well. Try and get some of these coins here. Excellent. Looks like we got ourselves quite a bit of money there. Up to 400. Wow. Yeah. Get that trash can out of our way. A little statue of Helen Gravely there. Excellent. Oh, that's kind of funny. You could suck up, like, everything in here. Ah, looks like we're in the main lobby. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> Yikes. It's a nice ghost. <laughs> the last resort mansion is open. Nice. It's going to get us used to the mechanics of the game. Bam. There we go. So you get to do slam attacks with the A button as soon as you've got him captured. Awesome. Looks like they're going to bring us some more. You can actually, I believe, slam them into each other yeah, and do slam damage. Boom. There we go. Interesting phone call. Um, looks like we can shoot this. Wonder if this has anything to do with that. Excellent. Oh, Polter Pop heading his way up there. Excelente. Looks 
like we got ourselves a diamond. Nice. So it looks like there might be six diamonds per uh, floor or per level. So that's really cool for us. That is a ton of money. And more importantly, let's get ourselves that key. The key is going to be useful for us later. I can guarantee that. We're going to head our way up here. As we take a look. We're going to be able to do that later as well. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, we need we need that key. So, I guess we're not going in the elevator yet. Okay, so we checked the left side. I know, I know. We should probably check the middle, but I want to check these other sides first just to see if we're not if we're missing something. Ooh. Nice little rat saying hello to us. Oh, that's the spider. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, sweet. They're like money. Money spiders. That's for Gooigi later. You guys will get to meet him soon enough. Let's go in here, though. Ah, it fits perfectly. Dr. Egad. I believe that's his name. A professor Egad. Like we can't interact with him yet. We can go through this door. Poor plant. Need a key, okay. Let's check out this door. Looks like we found a little stash. Awesome. So this looks to be the floor one gems. And I'll probably do a video compiling all the gems at the very end of our playthrough uh, for ease. Ah, see that in the mirror. If you look in the mirror, there's actually a thing there. So that's cool. Sweet. That's going to give us our key that we need. So now we're going to take that. Ooh. <laughs> That's kind of funny. That would be my reaction too. Can't go through that door yet. Okay, so we need to take that key. And we are going to have to go through that door. Awesome. Fits perfectly. I like that it just like absorbs the key. Let's 
Check back here, see what there is. Looks like some cash. Excellent. Let's get this safe opened up. Looks like there's some... What are those? Nice. There we go. That's the extractor right there. It's gonna let us extract stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's right. Sorry, do you want me to do this? there later but for now it looks like we need to go save the professor with our new extraction tool boom just like that and we meet the man, the myth, the legend, the professor. <laughs> professor Egad, so that was right. Cool. If it isn't Luigi, you are precisely the last person I'd expect to find here. Funny you say that. Hold that thought. Now is the time to catch up. What matters is you'll do nicely. Come on, Luigi. Get me out of here. This hotel is filled to the brim with ghosts. Let's make a run for it. Yeah! Yeah, exactly. All of your friends have been captured. Correct. And you can't just abandon them here, you say? Yeah. You're the same as ever, I see. A bit of a handful. Okay. I'm not thrilled about it, but I, Professor Alvin Gadd, have an idea. I guess it's Elvin. First things first, Luigi. We have to get to my car. Will you take me there? Hey, the new Poltergust. Oh, Poltergust. Sorry. Poltergust G00, you're wearing. You took that out of my car, right? We gotta get back underground garage. Let's go. Sounds good. I can get you there. Take a look over there. The elevator. The elevator will get us to the garage. Let's go. Wow. All right, so you said to grab the money. Grab the money and run. It's of no use to those ghosts. Huh. Ooh. Somebody removed all the keys. Hmm, a mystery for later, I suppose. Go ahead and give that P1, the B1 a push. It didn't seem like any of your friends were trapped on the second floor with me. They must have been taken to one of those floors higher up on the hotel, which means, yeah, we're gonna need those elevator buttons. <laughs> oh, he doesn't like that. He looks kind of like a Pikmin character. Oh, what? what? Oh, he just like spawned there. 
Okay, I believe it was this direction. Oh, never mind. Okay, this car is the other direction. Ooh. We are now going to be able to extract this gem. And that is going to be the first one for the bottom floor. Awesome. Good stuff. I believe this is the garage. We're going to head in here. And... Oh, oh, oh. I think he's more scared than we are. Ghost isn't very strong. Oh, yeah. Alright. Oh. He did hit us, but it's a little late. There we go. Now we got you from Seattle. little mini boss for us to beat. Oh, boom. We get a heart and our first two keys. Nice. Very cool. Nice. Our first victory over our mini boss. We're going to pick up these two keys here. One and five. Those are definitely elevator buttons. I never would have guessed a ghost had taken them. But there are only two. Maybe there are other ghosts with the rest of the buttons. No matter. Let's go to my car. I've got something very interesting I want to show you. Sweet. We're going to head over to Professor Egad's car there. I know what it is. It's a portable lab. Boom. Awesome. Oh. <laughs> Very cool. I wish you could make things more portable than they are. Like a gaming computer. Make it just shrink down. Alright, this is going to be the end of this episode. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. This is going to be episode one. Uh, please stay tuned. I'm going to have a Luigi's Mansion episode every other day. And uh, we're going to try and pound through this series. And hopefully, if you guys haven't already, you can go check out the Super Mario 35th Anniversary. We are going to be playing all of those games as soon as they come out. So... We're going to have a ton of content on this channel soon, and I hope you're all excited for it. Uh, thank you again. I'm Andy from Our Dad Plays. Please, if you haven't already, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, and stay tuned for episode two. All right. Catch you all later.